is it Christmas? Is it nearly Christmas? Are we nearly there? It feels like we're nearly there because surely one of the heralds of Christmas is finding out what the battle forces for the festive season are going to be and that's happening today for AOS. When is it? What day is it? It's the 20, 23rd of October. That's... Well, I mean, I suppose they're giving you plenty of warning so you can adjust your purchasing plans accordingly. That's not necessarily a bad thing. But the question is, are the boxes bad? I don't know. I haven't looked at them yet. Let's find out together. Hello everyone, it's 9 o'clock Tuesday morning, I'm just finishing editing this video and I just wanted to let you know that this was actually recorded before the 40k boxes won yesterday. I actually stopped this mid-edit to cover the 40k stuff because I figured that would probably do a bit better and we'll see if that was the case right now. Although admittedly by putting it out first it's almost guaranteed to have done better so I've kind of skewed the results of that experiment which kind of makes the whole experiment not really worth the paper it isn't written on. But it's fine. It's all good. We got there in the end. This is only a few 15, 16 hours late. So it's it's not a problem. It's all good. A note for those of you who are members or patrons, at the cultist tier or above, there is a video just for you, only for you, and there will be one of those every single week from now until the end of time, or until I pass away, whichever soonest. I'm suspecting it'll probably be me that goes first as opposed to the universe as a whole. But hey, we live in an age of surprises. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? We may well all be dead in the next 48 hours. So before that happens, let's take a look at some boxes of plastic crack. Hang on a minute. Where, where's my window capture gone? What is this OBS? What are you playing at? Where is it? Oh, I deleted it. All right, that's my fault. That's my bad. I'll, I'll hold my hands up and say that that is my issue and I shouldn't have deleted that thing because I can't have used it a lot. Every time we talk about any sort of article reveal, I use it. Why did I delete it? I don't know. What's going on with the energy in this video? I don't know that either. It's a bit weird. Window capture, uh, add existing. We don't need a new window capture, do we? We don't need a new one. There we go. Why has that not worked? It's still not worked. This is falling apart. It's a disaster. It's an absolute disaster from start to finish. Hey, hallelujah. Off we go. Let's sing a Christmas carol and get in the mood. This is it. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Battle Forces. Four incredible box sets for the festive season. They said incredible. I expect incredible. Now, what have we got? Who do we have this time round? I need my glasses on. I can't see a goddamn thing. We have the Warhorde of Eternus, the Primordial Star Host, the Praetorian Spearhead, and the Vengorian Court. The Vengor... All right, I'm immediately seeing an issue with the Vengorian Court, but we'll get to that when we get down to the actual box. So... First up is the Primordial Star Host, and we have a Slan Star Master. Quality. Love, love that model. Absolutely love it. We've got some new Croxigors there with 10 Saurus Warriors. I mean, the new stuff for the Wizard Lizards is just so good. It's so good. I love the refresh that that range has had. It's fantastic from top to bottom. And, I mean, yeah, this looks pretty decent. This looks all right. Cheeky use of Sylvanath Wildwoods in the background there. That's got nothing to do with this lot, but we'll let them off because they're cool trees. I know, I've got lots of them. So, we have Croxagore, we've got Saurus Warriors. We also have... Oh yeah, the Croxagore can be built as warp spawn too. That's cool. Uh, three Agridon Lancers and the Hunters of Han... Hanshi? 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 I don't know. Haunchi? Who are... Oh, whatever. A war band of chameleon skinks. The pepper foes with poison darts and send terror wings to claw and peck. Are they the ones for war cry? Am I misremembering? I can't remember. Either way, that feels like a nicely rounded box, to be honest. You do have a full on wizard lizard right in the center there. You've got some cavalry, you've got some really big, meaty bruisers, you've got a few flying units, some smaller infantry, and a nice kind of a nice little sort of warrior squad. I like that a lot. That's pretty good. It feels like a decent all rounder box where there's like a little bit of everything in there. I'd imagine if you are building up an army like this, this might be a fun way to expand on things, you know? It also feels like it's building like a more kind of complete package in a way. Like if you were new and looking to start off with these, you would go, oh, well, this has got a bit of everything I need. I, I like this approach. It's not quite a specialist, but it seems more, I don't know, broader appeal, I guess. This is the Praetorian Spearhead, so it's the Ossiarch Bone Reapers, and I'm immediately seeing an issue, and that issue is that there's four Morgasts in there. And that's an issue only for, I mean, it may not be an issue for you. It's an issue for me, personally, because along with Spirit Hosts and Tree Lords, uh, I hate assembling these. I hate them with a burning passion. I do not want to assemble any more ever again. They are the absolute worst. Now, you could sit there and go, stop being so melodramatic. Is it really that bad? Are you even going to buy this box? I mean, the answer is no, because I don't need any of these units, and I especially don't want to assemble four of those. But I really don't like them. I don't like them at all. They're very annoying, very fiddly. 
they just don't go together how you think they should, right? But that being said, the box as a whole, I'm already detecting a theme here, which is like well-rounded, which is like a little bit of everything. We've got five of the Death Riders, we've got the Mortec Guard, 20 of them, uh, Gothazar, Harvester, and four Morgas, along with Arch Kavalos, Xantos, or you can do like a generic version of him. Again, this feels like a nicely rounded out box where you've got a little bit of everything. You've got your kind of heavy tanky bruisers, you've got your frontline infantry, your sort of defensive units, you've got your cavalry, and you've got a big chunky lad in the back there. I feel like this is the theme, right? It feels less specialised this year round already. It feels like a more kind of beginner friendly approach. Before, quite often, these battle forces felt like things that were designed to designed to expand on existing collections or at least provide a cohesive theme per box. So far we've got two and they are like all rounder boxes. It makes me wonder if they might not lose a bit of that like, kind of current collector interest but make up for that in more people looking at them and going well actually I could use all of this this would be a great way to start an army so maybe I should go for this. Again well-rounded good amount of stuff in there I mean assuming that these retail around the £100 mark which the battle forces usually do they'd go higher than 100 now but like I mean the Morgas alone four of those is a good like 60 quid I want to say it might be even more now I can't remember how much the box is exactly but it's going to be a good amount of savings at the very least. Following up from that, we've got the War Horde of Eternus. I love Eternus. Eternus is such a good model. So good. Love that guy. And again, good range of units. We've got Eternus himself. We've got three Ogroid Theradons. Love those. Five Chaos Knights, five Chosen, and ten Chaos Warriors. Now, it's when we get to the next box that this kind of all-rounder approach is going to start to fall apart, and you'll see why when we get there. But overall, again, again, it's... It's a decent looking box and it does have that nice kind of appeal of getting a bit of everything. Plus, to me this is holding more interest than the others, but then again I've kind of been thinking about Chaos for a little bit in terms of AOS and I do love Eternus' model and I love the Ogroids as well. The Ogroids are really cool. Plus, the Chaos Knights are fantastic. I absolutely love those sculpts. Again, Good spread, good range of models, good range of different roles. Finally, we've got the Vengorian Court, and this one, oh, this one feels weird to me because I have something of a bias going on here. Right? I, have, I have something of a personal experience with the Soul Black Gravelords, and they're showing Valka Vi at the front right there, who you can just build as a Vengorian Lord. And I would argue it would make more sense to put the Vengorian Lord in the picture than Laukavai herself. See, Laukavai is locked into the Avangori dynasty, so if you build that model and you want to do all like what you see is what you get, etc., etc., then this kind of box doesn't make a huge amount of sense for taking her as the lead because one of the cool things about the Avangori dynasty is that it allows you to take monsters as battle line. So it would be kind of cool if they'd have done this, but I don't know, put a Terrorgeist in there as well. But then again, that doesn't fit the theme of the boxes currently. Whereas the Vangorian Lord, despite the name, is not locked into the Avangori dynasty because he doesn't have the Avangori keyword. So it's a little bit weird. I can understand why they've gone with her because arguably I think she is the better model of the two, the better build option of the two. But putting her on the front and then including no other monsters. It just makes me sad. It just makes me sad, core, deep down sad, because <laughs> I got her, because then that way I could have her and then like three giant dragons. That being said, it doesn't take away from how well-rounded the box is. Again, again, a similar theme to last time, although I will say that this one is a fast box. This is quick, right? So your Dire Wolves are fast. Your Fell Bats are fast. Your Blood Knights, fast. Laukavai, or the Vengorian Lord, also fast. There is a hell of a lot of movement speed on four out of five units in this box. Death Rattle skeletons are slow, but, you know, that's, you know, what do you expect? They're shambling skeletons. Again, well-rounded. It's just weird to see that specific hero placed in the picture because she allows you to do things that this box has got no interest in you doing, and this box has chosen a bunch of stuff, which, again, it makes sense with the overall theme, I think, of these being just more accessible as a whole and more kind of all-rounder boxes. But I would have loved to have seen one of them maybe be a bit more personalised, a bit more kind of targeted to one of the things that are in the box. Because this is one of those weird situations where, in actual fact, you'd be better off with almost any other named hero in there. Because they would have some sort of synergy with something else in there, whereas she doesn't. But the Vangorian Lord technically doesn't have to be locked into that, so it would be a case of building the Vangorian Lord as opposed to building her. There you go. 
all rounders, all of them all rounders, all of them got a bit of infantry, a bit of a bit of cavalry, you've got some bruisers in there, you've got some heavy hitters, though I guess in the case of the Soulbite Gravelords, really the heavy hitters are the cavalry, but I would argue that that's also the case with a couple of the others, but they've also got some chunky dudes as well. I don't know, it's an interesting approach. I think these are a lot more generic in terms of their contents than we've seen previously, um, but I don't know necessarily whether that's a bad thing or not, or whether I'm simply misremembering what last year's were. Either way, it'll be interesting to see how many people are going to go for these. What do you reckon on this particular approach? What do you reckon of these boxes specifically? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, and I'll see you, like, probably in an hour or something for the next batch.